Saturday today. This is a weekend vlog. Um, I didn't vlog this week because I was just not really feeling it. After I came back from my trip last weekend, I felt really sad and wasn't in the mood to vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm back on it this weekend. I'm going to Birmingham. I'm actually at the station now and the train is really loud so I don't know if you can even hear me. I've got some nice plans. Basically going to do all the things in Birmingham that I enjoy doing that I can't really do here or I like don't have people to do with here. Um, there's this really nice bakery called Medicine that we're going to go to which like weirdly I didn't go to when I lived in Birmingham. We're going to just chill and have a really nice time. I'm excited to see to see him because it's been like ages. I don't know if you remember from my vlogs back in the day. Um, he's like my friend from Birmingham. But anyway, I'm going to just wait for the train now. Um, going to be about another 20 minutes um, but I'm glad that I left early because I wasn't sure like last time if there was going to be a lot of traffic so I'm here now I'm just playing the waiting game and I'll update you when anything interesting happens Pepsi Max they did it do anything we trying to do it I got Pepsi Max as well that's my ball. What on earth is this? Where everyone's holding the plate waiting for the plate. Yeah. That's funny. The first I think. Good evening. Well, it's night time now. It's like 1am. But my friend has just gone home. And I'm just like watching TV. I'm about to go to sleep soon. I'm really tired. I just took my makeup off and did my whole skincare routine and brushed my teeth. I'm here with Rabby, chilling. And I didn't show you the hotel room yet, but I'll show you tomorrow. It's just an easy jet hotel, which I didn't even like realize was a thing until I saw last weekend when I was in Edinburgh. I saw this easy coffee place, which was like an easy jet coffee shop. And um, yeah, so now there's like an easy hotel as well so yeah i'll show you the room tomorrow i'm gonna probably go to sleep soon and then tomorrow i'm gonna go to that medicine bakery for breakfast and then get my train train's at 11 so i have to get up kind of early and it's one now i want to get to the bakery early so that uh they still have their like best stock and they're not like sold out of everything so i'm gonna have to do that and tomorrow's gonna be busy too i need to go home i'll be home by like one probably and then I need to go to Aldi, go to the gym, just get prepared for the week ahead. I've got some laundry to do as well. So yeah, and then Monday I'm actually looking forward to because we've got someone new working with us. So it'll be nice to hopefully have someone like kind of take a bit of the pressure off. And I'm always like excited to meet someone new as well. So yeah, we'll see. And um, my skin's looking really bad at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Well, I do know. It's because I wasn't doing my skincare routine when I was in Edinburgh. Uh, because I didn't bring my face wash. Uh, so I was using this weird face wash. So I'm going to go sleep now. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's about half nine on Sunday. And I'm just about to leave my hotel and head out and get some breakfast. And then I'm going to head to the train station and go back to Oxford. Um, which I really don't want to do because... I don't know if I said this last night, but when I got here yesterday, it really felt like I had like come home and I just don't feel like that with Oxford. Um, yeah, it could just be because I've got like rose tinted glasses of how like life in Birmingham actually was, or it could be just like that I haven't really lived in Oxford for as long as I've lived here. But yeah, I don't really want to go back. I feel like I just don't vibe with Oxford the same way I do with here. Um, and I was thinking yesterday about like looking for jobs here while still like getting my money from Oxford. But I don't know, we'll see. That could just be like a whim and you know, I'll get used to Oxford. Um, but there's just like, I think being here has made me realize how much I miss it. And yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna show you my room. It's kind of messy because uh, I've been like living in it. But it's a nice room for <clears throat> the price. So this is just, it's just like a basic room to be honest. Um, the door's here, it's like an EasyJet um, like branded hotel I think. So 
There's the bed, obviously with Rabbi in his pride of place. And yeah, my bag, I'm all ready to go, I'm all packed up. Oh, Rabbi looks so cute in the thing. Then the bathroom's here. It's like a accessibility bathroom, which I didn't realize. And weirdly, then there's just like a little corridor down here. And this is the view from the window, just down to the street below. <laughs> All right, so I'm home now. I've got my, I think that's a croffin and a maple pecan roll. Then I got my tea. I'm gonna dig into this. And enjoy. Oh, the cream has fallen off. It looks like there's some kind of like custard in it or something, which I didn't know. I hope it's not the whole way because I don't really like custard. But wow. Mmm. It's delicious. It's so croissanty, and I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting it to be as like croissanty, but it is really croissanty. Really good.